guys! So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. I'm going to start with the Instagram questions. The first question is from Grungely underscore babe and it is one, where do you get your jewel? This is my silver triquetra that my mum bought me and I love it. The next ones are my silver pentacle and my aqua aura quartz, both of which are from Amazon. They didn't come together, I just bought them separately and put them on this silver chain. The last one is this hematite circle, which correlates with my zodiac sign, which is Aries! First! <laughs> the second question is, if you could describe yourself in three words, what, what would they be? Peculiar, incompetent, and spacey. Three, what kind of music do you listen to? I love this question. I listen to mainly metal, hard rock, and alternative rock. I also listen to a lot of classical music because I am cultured. I like blues and EDM, dance, and dubstep. I've been listening to a lot of an artist called Aluna George because her voice is adorable, and that weird coffee shop music. Second question is, oh my god, okay, so I know you. Well, not personally, but I know you because you've been following me for a while but I don't know how to say your name, and I never have. I-S-S-X-X-N. I'm sorry, but you are fantastic. What's your fave episode slash character in Supernatural? Okay, favorite character, Castiel. <laughs> My favorite episode. I really did like the season 11 finale. It was, it was good, it was really good. I also really liked changing channels. I thought that one was really interesting. And basically all the ones with Castiel in it. What do I use for inspiration, and do you have any favourite artists? Uh, inspiration, music a lot of the time. As a favourite artist, Ursula Decay, who you can find here on Instagram, on YouTube, and on DeviantArt. She is fantastic, I love her character designs, and her art style is beautiful. I also love Fadol here on Instagram, they have such a cute style. Um, I know they have Tumblr, but I'm not following them there because I don't go on there that much. Also Frida Kahlo. If you were uh, like wondering about more traditional artists, just Frida Kahlo. Next question is from Kibble Canoing Fans. Okay, oh my gosh. I just want to take a moment to say thank you so much for making that account. I love you and you're so precious. The first question is how do you come up with the name Kibble Kano? Uh, I like dogs, pretty much for a reason. I came up with Kibble Cat and I was like, but I like dogs, so I just put canine in front of it and I got Kibble Canine. Two, any tips or advice for anyone starting a YouTube channel? Lighting and continuous content is what I would say. And what I mean by that is um, make sure you have a theme and a schedule. I don't stick to my schedule that much, but I try to as much as I can. And having a theme really helps, or a set of things that you do specifically. Um, also lighting in general. Uh, try not to film directly in front of a window, that could wash you out. Um, alternatively, if you're sitting directly in front of a window but faced away from it, then that can just make the whole thing really dark and you wouldn't be able to see you and you look more like a silhouette. So yes, lighting and continuous content. Next question is from Yana Banana Boo. You're fantastic, I love you. How long have you been on YouTube and where do you get your clothes? I've been on YouTube for about three or four years. I was 12 when I started, I'm 16 now. I get my clothes from Topshop. Um, all I need to say, I could stock that store, I swear. I also get a lot of stuff from Amazon and from ASOS. I also get a lot of my cool um, shirts from HMB because they do really nice printed Marvel shirts. The next question is from ims.zara. If there is anything you could do right now, like right now, what would it be? Probably make this a more interesting video. Next question is from Dramatical Confusion. How did you develop your art style? Started out with kind of drawing these little chippies with peg legs. Then I got more inspired by Tim Burton and I drew these like characters with very 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 skinny necks and huge eyes. I think from that, um, that was when I started developing my own characters and I wanted to make them more distinguishable and um, so I guess I had to work more on facial features and facial expressions so I had to look more at likenesses and all that stuff and kind of try and... what's the word? I don't know, put in all the like kind of traditional kind of stuff that I learned, like likenesses and stuff, into a more stylized format. Um, 
yeah, so that's how I ended up with my current style. That second question is what influenced your fashion? So, lordy, this is a long, <laughs> I went through a lot of phases. I started off as a kid. I remember going in one mufti day. Mufti day is where you get to wear your own clothes, by the way, because in England we wear uniforms. Then I walk in <laughs> wearing my sequin dress from the Disney store from the Sharpay section. <laughs> Then I got into um, high school, so I went to secondary school, and I, I don't know, I, I dressed kind of normal for a while, and by normal I mean I tried and it didn't work because I just wore a lot of like brightly coloured skinny jeans and like weird shirts. Then after a while I was inspired by my mum a lot because she was like the grungiest person ever and I would borrow a lot of her clothes. <coughs> waiting for my dog to stop screaming at the door. Um, then I was seen, I didn't know I was seen, but I was seen. Then I was emo, I knew I was emo, I thought I was hardcore as hell and I clearly was not. Then I tried to be goth because I have an obsession with gothic fashion and the whole subculture, I think it's beautiful, but I was still emo. Then I got into J fashion executed that all right didn't end up looking too seen i mean i did the, i did at the beginning i did at the beginning but then i got into like the more like pastel -y, more fairy k pop k yeah um and that was fun i dressed cute for a little bit and i dressed homeless i still dress homeless um sometimes i make an effort yes that is how my style developed uh fashion wise next question is from marie Hello Marie. <laughs> um, what was your fave memory in your secondary school? By the way, I know the majority of you are probably American. So secondary school, we start at the age of 11 and finish at the age of 16. So it's kind of like a mix of your middle school and your high school, I believe, uh, except we cut back on the years of your high school. I don't know if that's right. Favorite memory in high school? Probably the the time that our whole year group started um, playing work and like everyone started dancing on the holy lawn. If you're not from my school, you're probably like, what the F is the holy lawn? The holy lawn is a lawn. It is a big green field that we all sit on in the summer at lunch and you are not allowed to litter on. If you litter on it, then the whole school gets punished. Basically, uh, during the war, bombs were dropped or something. Yeah, and that's why it's called the Holy Lawn. Even though we go to a Catholic school, so a lot of people get the idea that it's called the Holy Lawn because it's holy, but it's not. Next question is from Pretty Ghost Girl. It was so cute, by the way. Um, just thought I'd say that. And third question is, who is your biggest style inspiration? This is gonna be a really boring answer because it's gonna be my characters. I dress a lot like my characters because I feel like they have personalities, things they do, where like outside of what I make them to be. And I like to dress like them because I think that they're great <laughs> and I want to be their friends. I also dress very homeless sometimes and that is probably due to my incredible obsession with Supernatural and Bear Hunters and I want to be a hunter sometimes and I dress like a hunter sometimes and it is good. Next question is from Iumi and it is what do you like the most about yourself and what do you like the least about yourself? Okay so what I like the most about myself, I like that I can put my point across fairly eloquently um, when I try. I don't like that I have this kind of inferiority complex and it's I, I always feel like I'm beneath people. <laughs> And I don't know, it's a hard mindset to get out of and I'm still in it and it's it bugs me but I'm trying really hard to overcome. The reason I didn't really focus on physical things like you may have expected me to is because I live more in my head so it would make more sense. I don't really care much for my body as long as I'm taking care of it, feeding it and watering it like a plant because your body's basically a plant. Yes. And the last question is from S. Karma, and it is, how are you so gosh darn pretty? 
and that is such a sweet question. Thank you, and I could ask the same about you. I forgot to, to read the YouTube questions. I'm going to read the YouTube questions. Oh my gosh, when you start to hate yourself more and more for the second. Okay then, so the first question from YouTube is by Davies Dream and it's can you do more art videos? I'm... Um, no. Sorry, I hope I'm doing um, enough at the moment that I can't do any more than what I'm doing now. That would be way too much stress on me. Um, second question is from Real One and Level Two. I'm American and I wish to visit the UK someday. How is it like there and are there certain laws I should know about? It's alright. It's pretty good. I think you'd like it here. As for laws, I no man, just don't kill anyone, I guess. The third question is from Zinlin. Um, I think I said that wrong. X I N L N X. And is do you ever plan on selling your art? Yep, I do commissions. If you wish to commission me, you can DM me on Instagram or note me on DeviantArt. However, I will take longer to respond to you on DeviantArt because I don't go on there as much, but I do try to be on there as much as I can be. Um, yeah, I do commissions, I have done commissions, so yes. <laughs> Next question is from Adela Heiskyova, I think I said that wrong so I apologise if I did. Are you planning to make a room tour? Yes, yes I am. And how often are you drawing as much as possible? And maybe what are your favourite artists? I answered that earlier. And the last one is from All Your Lads, which is a brilliant username, and is are you taking art for A-level? Yes, I am. I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm guessing it's like GCSE, just more intense, like a lot more intense. I think I can handle it. I hope I can handle it. Yes. Um, that was my Q&A. Hope you enjoyed. Stay hydrated, kids. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>